Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play the Organ Trail Director's Cut. When last we left off, we just managed to set off onto the road over to Safe Haven. We've barely got anywhere, though, but there are a few things that we could do. We could rest. We could use some of our medkits. We could kill one of the people in our party. Let's not do that. We'll talk to a stranger, though. I'm not sure what caused all this. If it were a virus, how did it spread so fast? Why are we immune? Are we immune? Good question. We've had enough. Pesky flies all day and mosquitoes all night. It's either the bulking, the baking sun or oceans of the dead. And sometimes both. I'm always worrying over Roma sneaking up on me when I take a piss. Haven't seen any in a while, but still a worry. Let us uh, look at our supply situation. It's pretty good and uh, activity is indeed medium. Let's go and scavenge, shall we? Scavenging is the uh, foraging and the hunting of uh, the Oregon Trail, except we are scavenging for supplies that are already there while avoiding the zombies. Now we have a rifle, which is a single shot, quick reload, a spread shot, which has a slow reload, or the pistol. By the way, it counted all the bullets that I missed shooting Clements as part of my supply on bullets. The pistol fires four quick shots with a longer reload. For now, let us use the rifle. We'll be thrown straight into the scavenging at this point, and we'll need to act fast. There are some parts. Scrap, by the looks of it. There is a dragging zombie there. Dragging zombie, uh, is faster than a normal zombie. And there are some, uh, more scrap. Also, there's a running zombie there. We want that one dead right now. Right, medium activity here. We shouldn't have too much problem with the zombies. Ooh, food right there. We want that. We want that. Okay, we'll shoot the one that's closest. And then this one. Alright. We're getting there. Now, there are bigger zombies, too, that uh, take two shots. We don't want them to get too close to us. Or else they'll injure us. And then we'll have to, uh... Basically, uh, count... Hello, we succeeded! You found 100 ounces of food while scavenging. You also found... 40 scrap. We need that scrap. We have 50 scrap now. We're going to scavenge again, just once more, and then we'll keep going. Activity is, uh, I do believe, oh, it's low now, and here's some money. We want that money. Also, we don't want you there. And we don't want you there either. Oh, there's a fast one. Do you see it? You see it. And I missed. When we're not looking, they like to, uh... Oh, he's trying to get the... He's trying to get it! Oh! Come back here, you! There you go! That scavenger tried to take the food. Did you see him? He tried to take it. We need to get this one now. I think we just need to hold out here. Sometimes you'll be able to get, uh... Food, medkits... Medkits you actually have to get a perk for. And bullets. But hey! Fifty dollars and two hundred ounces of food. I think we should keep moving now. Zombie activity's high. We could ration. Which means that, uh, if you consume less food, their health goes down. Also, there is combat training. We cannot learn anything at the moment. For now, we shall carry on. Let's go. Nothing bad happened there, that's good. Fair distance to go. Oh, nothing bad happened there either. Good. Just gonna carry on our journey. Slowly losing health and station wagon durability, I might add. Heavy ash covers the windshield, which forces you to slow down. Ah, we have to move a little slower at this point, which means we'll consume a little more food and a little more fuel. But we managed to get to the first location without any significant peril whatsoever. Everyone decides to play Punch Buggy. I don't know what Punch Buggy is, but we've reached Pittsburgh. And that man there I, has indeed a gun. I just thought I, I just said there that I hope he had a gun. He does. So he can shoot that zombie. Pittsburgh seems not to have done very well with the zombie apocalypse. I don't think anywhere has. As you can see, there are a wide variety of sellers and uh, things to buy, including someone from a certain franchise over there. Let's have a look at the uh, jobs first. Well, let's have a look and see what we can buy. There's a lot of things available, being the start of the game. It's uh, quite early days, and we can get a lot of things reasonably. Fuel is $13 uh, a uh, container. 
That's food, that's uh, ammunition, med kits, and scrap. Let's have a look at the auto shop. They have a special today. What is today's special? Off-road tires. No slowdown during sandstorms. I don't feel like we want to buy that just yet. We could buy tires, batteries. We don't need to buy any more mufflers, apparently. We, we have enough mufflers. What jobs are available? There are missions that you can do. There's something hidden at the back of the graveyard, but it's too spooky for me. Difficult, dangerous, for scrap. Yeah, I'm not going to do a mission for for scrap, I'm afraid. Defense. There's a large number of zombies just outside my home. Please come and eradicate them. Difficulty dangerous. Payment $34. We're going to go do it. He hands you 20 ammo before you head out, which is generous of him. All right, a rifle. Am I accurate enough to uh, be able to shoot these? I think I might be. I might be accurate enough. Let's have a look here. Oh, that's a good shot. It's a pretty good shot. What about you? And, uh, oh, missed there. You've got to be quick. You you don't want them to uh, start swarming you. Like it looks like they're about to. Oh, come on. You need to shoot. You need to shoot a lot faster than this. That one is a bigger one. That's going to take two shots. The good news is, is that hopefully we should be able to deal with these. Dangerous? Yep, yeah, I know it is. There's a big one. Shoot that one. This one. And then this one. We should be able to do this. We just need to make sure they don't get too close. That was way too close for call. Look at that. Look how close most of them were. But we survived the attack. Excellent. You've earned $34. Well. And it's deadly out there. I don't think we're going to be doing anything um, like movement related or any such thing. Not while it's deadly. Deadly zombie activity is a bad thing. We don't want to be killed by zombies. I won't be able to go anywhere without fuel or car parts. Or rather you won't. It's best to try and look for someone to trade with until you get what you need if you find yourself stranded. I always carry extra because my shit keeps breaking down and catching on fire. Fortunately, ours doesn't. But what we're going to do right now is just rest. If we rest for an hour, we gain a little bit of health, consume a little bit of food, and the, uh, the zombie activity may change. It is now deadly still. We could go fish! Let's go fish, shall we? Fishing has the same benefits as resting, plus you can catch some extra food or spare parts. Once you hook a fish, click on the reel, click to reel it in while the indicator is inside the green area on the left. Timing is key. The fish will get away if you miss four times. Okay. Let's fish. Down to cast. There we go. Oh, there's a fish. Oh. Nope. No fish. Come on. This is a, uh, a lure. Come on. There we go. Excellent. Let's uh, click in the green. Let's see what this is. Ah. I get the feeling that is not a fish. Ah. You caught a zombie head. Well, it's something. It's something. Uh, what's the zombie activity like now? Deadly. You know what? Let's fish again. Surely we can't catch another zombie head, right? Surely we won't catch another zombie head. I'm a fish. I'm a fish. Ah! Got one. Excellent. Go along, fish. We wish to have thee for our dinner. Ooh, that's a fish, all right. That's a fish. I'm just looking at the indicator right now. Just looking at the indicator. Come on. There we go. Nearly. Nearly. Aha! A swordfish is ours. It may only be three ounces of food, but it gets added to our roster. A new catch. Aha! Excellent. And everyone rests. Except I don't gain anything. Zombie activity is only high. Hmm. We do need more food. We need to wait for the, uh... It to go down, though. That's the thing. We are losing food every time we rest. 
But we can't have the activity be high and scavenge. We might as well fish, actually. I don't even know why I'm uh, resting with food when we could be f Whoa! When we could be fishing. Well, it is a little faster. And we could probably find food along the way. Oh, a fish has been grabbed. Okay, let's do this. We can get this fish. I'm pretty confident we can get it. I don't know if it's going to be worth getting, but uh, hey, it'll be there. Oh, excellent! A goldfish! We shall name him Sebastian and eat him. He has now been eaten. It is now 7 a.m. And the food situation... Ooh, medium. Excellent. We could scavenge on that. We need more food and more general parts and everything else. We want to take the rifle with us, because I'm not going to get better at this if I don't take the rifle. Oh, there's some food. Yeah, I did have to shoot that, uh, that survivor, the one who was scavenging. He was going to take what we had. Also, that's food as well. It may look a little bit like a battery, but it's definitely... Oh, hello, no. You are a fast zombie, but I do not like you. I do not like you. Oh, hello, no. No, I'm afraid not. Right, that scavenger, there are two of them, they'll run away if we grab it. Also, if they run into the into a zombie, that happens, I'm afraid. They get eaten, which admittedly does stop the zombie, because they, um, they are, well, eating someone. Let's do a bit more scavenging, shall we? Let's have a look. It is currently medium, and that is money. Oh, and that was a miss. We want money. It's not a lot of money, but it's still money. I don't even know what that is. Is that a muffler or something? Hello, zombie. You're a little more difficult to shoot. Hello. There is a fast one. We'll deal with you, and then we'll go get this food. Food is important. It's good for living. Also, I'm not sure we're going to be able to get to that one in time. But we'll try. We'll try. I won't if I has if I stop like that. Ooh, that's a miss. Careful. Oh no. Hundred ounces of food and five dollars and ten scrap. That was scrap. Okay, that's fine. Hmm. We'll scavenge once more, I think. It's still medium, and then we'll head out, I think. What do we have? Ooh, something immediately. I think that was scrap. Is there anyone? There are bosses. You have to watch out for those. There are boss encounters. You do not want to uh, get hit by those. Not at all. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. A little bit of food there. Oh, more food. We'll never say no to food. It's bullets that we primarily want. We want bullets. We might have to buy some bullets, actually. That is a thing we may need to buy. Because we'll be using a fair amount of... Oh, 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 oh. My aiming there was terrible. I did not want to get hit. Also, 15 scrap. How many bullets do you buy if you buy them from town? That's actually a good question. We have a lot of money. We could buy some. Buy some ammo? Ah, hang on. How many bullets of packs of 20 do you want for 13? We'll buy... Eh, 60 bullets? That puts us back to a respectable amount of bullets. Look at our supply. We are back to 393 bullets. We have more food. And we have a um, little less fuel. How's the car? Car is okay right now. We can uh, afford to keep going, I think. Let's move on. You won't be able to return. Ooh, that's a good point. We do need to check one thing. Uh, bye. No, 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 no. It's a uh, party? There is a combat training, yes. There is nothing to learn here. Okay, let's leave. We won't be able to return. We have to go to the mall now, which is, uh, I think I was in the original game. Light supplies and, and medkit scavenger. Well, let's go. You must cross a horde of zombies in order to continue on the road. The horde in front of you is currently small in size and appears to be alert. Hmm. We could... Wait and see if the horde disperses. Break out the guns and clear a path. Attempt to sneak through. Hire mercenaries. 
or get information. This is the equivalent of the rivers in the Oregon Trail, and it is essential that we get information. You can attempt to sneak through the horde if the zombies aren't very aggressive looking. You might be able to slowly drive through them without drawing their attention. You can also fight your way through. You will attempt to drive through the horde at top speed, firing from the windows as you go. A large and angry horde may still be able to overwhelm the vehicle. If there are any mercenaries nearby, they might be willing to protect you, for a nominal fee, as you pass through the horde. It's small and alert. I think we have to break out the guns and clear a path. The horde may get bigger. We'll wait an hour. One hour. Horde is ravenous. Well, break out the guns and clear through a... We'll wait. We can wait. We have food. Still ravenous. We're going to keep waiting. We don't want it to be ravenous. Oh, it's still ravenous, isn't it? Come on, Horde! They must have smelled blood. It's moderate. We have to break out the guns now while we still have a chance. Let's go! We can do this! Come on! We can do this! There we go! You successfully fought your way through the Horde. 240 miles to the mall. And we want to stop as soon as we get there and uh, see what happened. With our bullet supply. We burnt through no bullets doing that actually, which is handy. Let's keep going. It's dark out there. We're likely to be eaten by a zombie. If we stop. But we are not stopping right now. There is no reason for us to stop. You slow down to sneak past a large horde of zombies. That's a good reason to slow down, mind you. But we're nearly there. This is going quite well so far. Quite well. The mall. Left to die, indeed. They have all been left to die. Well, we are here. What is there for us to do? The combat trainer has medkit scavenger. Ooh, that costs $80, but we have a chance of scavenging medkits. Let's think about it first. Right, is there a, uh, is there an... There isn't a place, I think, for us to, uh... No, there isn't a place for us to do the car up. There are jobs. A crate fell out the back of my car on the way to town. Can you go find it? Forty... Thirty-four dollars. I'm having trouble sleeping. I keep seeing movement outside. Come protect me. We'll do this one first. This is a move to the right and grab something quest. The quest is over as soon as you grab the item. So in general, you don't actually need to uh, attack zombies that are behind you that much. You only need to deal with zombies that are potentially in front. Like that. You only need to deal with zombies that get close. Like this zombie here will get close, if we let it. But we won't let it. We want to use less ammunition than we will get as a reward. Also, I'm not the best at aiming this gun. You are in the way, sir. Let me help you. Oh, that's a lot of zombies. That's a lot of zombies. Uh-oh. They're all starting to converge on me. We're going to have to try and dodge them. Oh, this is bad. We've got to try and dodge them. You can sort of outmaneuver them if you are careful. But we now have a small trail of them pursuing us. There's what we want, though. Need to shoot this one and grab it. You made it! Aha! You earned 34 ammo. Excellent. There's no extra opportunity for money, but we want that medkit scavenger. Select a slot to replace. We have it. We want to be able to scavenge medkits. Definitely. And when we come back, folks, we'll do a little more scavenging, I think. See if we can grab a medkit or two, some scrap, and repair the car before we head out. And maybe buy some more fuel. We gotta make sure our supplies stay on track. Plus, we also need to do some resting as well. It's a long journey ahead of us, and we're only at the beginning. Fingers crossed we'll make it to the end. Fingers crossed. I'll catch you next time, folks. And I'll see you then. Later.